Yeah, let's get some barbecue for these guys, right? All right. Where are you gonna order from? We got know, seamless or? Some Dallas barbecue might be the one, but let's go there. Okay. It's the closest place. I mean, we're not picking specifically off a of recommendation. We're just picking. Where's a barbecue spot close by? Let's give it a shot. It's got a Texas city name in it. I mean, gotta that's gotta be. That's, that's gotta, gotta be. be that's gonna be some work. What are you thinking? What are we gonna? When are we gonna uh, try and pick out? Gotta get some brisket. Obviously, you gotta go. With the, you know, gotta get some ribs, some brisket. You know, I was a, I, I a good judge off a good coleslaw. That's still a big deal. The sides are a big deal. Now, this is not. As, I mean, this is probably all delicious and it looks great, but I'm, I'm going for the. You know, the more, the more you know, traditional staple of barbecue. Absolutely. Pulled pork, brisket, and ribs. Okay. Those are the three that everybody really tries to classify themselves as who really who can fuck up the barbecue game the most, you know? All right, so we got brisket, Let's go. burnt ends, pulled pork, full rack of spare ribs, coleslaw, mac and cheese, and burnt end baked beans. Solid order. Pretty excited to taste this. I mean, it's New York, it's in the city, it's not too far from here. Have you had barbecue in New York? I have not. Ooh. I've had it everywhere else that's re where it's relevant. In every single state that's relevant in where people take this shit like it's religion. Right. So, so we'll get, I'm, I'm excited. Yeah, we'll get your opinion, we'll get the amateur's opinion. And then we'll see what we'll get. In the worst case scenario, we'll run to Taco Bell and get him some fucking chalupas. <laughs> what we're are you doing? We're trying to show KFC that there's more to life than Taco Bell. Alright. I'm gonna be real here. I'm gonna be real guys, with you. Of all fucking guys. I'm gonna be real. Mighty Quinn's very good as an Austin Texan, Texas native. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I'm trying to prove a point to KFC, I ain't bringing any fucking barbecue from New York. Get it. Whoa, get out of my face. Where's this from? Is this not real barbecue? Is this gonna be like not good enough, Casey? Probably watch Trap in the Closet. No, you should not. The fuck? Um, it's very salty. Uh, it's pretty it's good, it's like tender, it's not like, I mean, it's all right, yeah, it's okay. I'm not gonna no. like, I'm not no, gonna like suck my not. dick over here. No. You know? I think the same thing about like cheese sticks. For whatever reason, unless you're like in like Philly or like South Jersey, you can't get good cheese sticks. So if someone from like the Midwest said like cheese sticks sucks, I would be like, I get it. Uh, I got a FaceTime. Me too. From oh. Mikey F. 5 a.m. Oh, not oh, 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Uh. And I answered it because I was like, I don't know, someone dead or something. Yeah. And it was him, and who was it? Was it the other guy? Was it the yeah, guy from Sirius? What's that? Just a buddy. Just a buddy, okay. <laughs> I, I, he had nothing to do with anything. He, he goes, oh shit, he actually picked up. I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> so then, this was a couple nights ago, I had a phone call, and it was actually a great phone call. We, we talked about the show, and it was very like positive, like let's fucking crush it, let's do it. <laughs> this show? Yes. Oh, hell but yeah. It, but it was like, <laughs> Yeah, man, we got to get some fancy little rockets. Like, we got to... I, uh, I, I went through a whole bunch of shit with Internet Trolls. He was like, fuck those trolls, man. <laughs> and then he was like, then he was like, I'm sorry for the blackout phone call before. I'm like, well, we're doing one right now. <laughs> that is actively and, happening. And, and then I hung up the phone, and I got two more that I proceeded to not answer. I don't even know if he I, made... No, I, no, that was not on purpose. It so, had to have been on purpose. So I got the drunk phone calls. He said that he had been calling you two nonstop, and then you weren't answering. Jared was a good sport about it. Yeah, no, I'll, yeah, I was, I, I'll I just... always decline the call and then send a text. <laughs> yeah, like, that's I, fair. Yeah. Chris, Christmas <laughs> Eve at 1.30 a.m. I have a missed FaceTime from I know, Mikey I need to go Fowler. look at mine, too. Uh, Wait, so that's Christmas Eve. Christmas Eve at You had a Friday, a. and then a, I had the Friday before break. It was break, the whole then, break, Jeff. <laughs> December 23rd, I have three missed calls at... Oh, that was at 5.20 p.m. That's my bad. I don't I know why I didn't answer that. PM, so. I had Saturday the 29th. So you really spread them out nicely. Wow. <laughs> and Jeff was on the 30th, I think. Oh, I missed two FaceTimes. No, Jeff came in here with like a like a look on his face like, I've got to get well, something off Jeff my chest. Well, Jeff told me today he ran into me. Yeah. So, oh, he told oh, me that was Saturday. So I saw him. I guess it was Saturday. I saw you him text at, me about it. Yeah, sidebar in New York. I'm going to meet friends from college. So I was with Zaz. It's not my fault. Wait a oh minute. God. Mikey in Sidebar <laughs> is like bringing a fucking addict to a crack house. Because I was texting with fights as I got the drunk call. So I was like, oh, I just got a drunk call from Mikey Podcast. Uh, apologizing for the previous drunk call. And he just said, man, that motherfucker loves to drink. <laughs> <laughs> what time did Like, you text me on Saturday when you ran into him, and it was not late. It was before the Alabama. It was before 8 o'clock. Oklahoma game started. I went with yeah. Zaz to the Arsenal bar at 10 a.m. Oh, see, that's the problem. You soccer guys start at like seven in the morning. Yeah, 
That'll get you. That'll and we lost 5 we 1. I was going to stay relatively sober, and we lost 5 1. And then Zah said, I got a funny sidebar. Zah, how much? I'm going to ask you this because you can't ask the actual person. How yeah. much does Mikey drink? <laughs> Can he put him back? Or is he like a lightweight? I mean, I feel no, like he puts him away. I mean, it was, it was a long day. That, that's all I'm going to say. I feel like you're a whiskey guy, or, or like at least I, I don't and, see and, you and drinking beer. That, I feel like you're that's just, what it is. It's, it's, yeah. it's a strong stuff. Thing yeah. That, that, to me, is the problem. You wake up at 7 a.m. and you're just drinking, like, bottles of whiskey. Yeah. Of course, you're I, I had a bad disaster. first impression with Mikey because uh, <laughs> we, the only time that I've been out drinking with him, we we didn't leave the bar until, like, after 4 o'clock in the morning. Like, they were still, they were, like, closing up and they didn't make us leave. So now after that, I'm like, well, if Mikey wants to go, I'm like, no, dude. Like, I'm not down for another 4.30 <laughs> in the morning Yeah, type yeah. Of night. I always, I have friends. Like, I know what I'm signing up for. I have friends and I need to put Mikey on this list now. It's like a no-fly list of, like, I, I like you. I can't hang out with you. Yeah. You, you, you scare me. We got a full year on deck with me, the Rocket, and Casey. A lot to get done, a lot of work in front of us. Join us for the ride, 2019. Here we come. Stay high. That was my class. That's what happens when you fucking make a dope show, man. It just yes. flies. Yeah.